Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for appendicitis. I will also be sharing some tips for preventing and managing appendicitis. I hope that this video is helpful for anyone who is suffering from appendicitis or is interested in learning more about this common fact for infection. The appendix is a small, tube-like organ located in the lower right side of the abdomen. It is part of the digestive system and has no known function in the human body. In some cases, the appendix can become inflamed and infected, leading to a condition called appendicitis, which requires surgical removal of the appendix. The function of the human appendix has been a subject of debate among scientists and researchers. While it is true that the appendix does not have a clearly defined function in the human body, some theories suggest that it may have played a role in digestion in our evolutionary past. One theory is that the appendix may have served as a reservoir for beneficial bacteria that helps with digestion, which could be important in cases of diarrhea or other gastrointestinal issues that cause the loss of these bacteria. Another theory suggests that the appendix may have been a larger organ in our evolutionary ancestors and has become reduced in size over time, making it less necessary in modern humans. Ultimately, the exact purpose of the human appendix remains unclear and more research is needed. To fully understand its evolutionary history and potential functions. Appendicitis is usually caused by a blockage in the lining of the appendix, leading to inflammation and infection of the organ. The blockage is typically caused by a small piece of hardened stool, a foreign body, a tumor, or swollen lymphoid tissue that obstructs the opening of the appendix. Once the appendix is blocked, bacteria can multiply inside it, leading to infection and inflammation. Other potential causes of appendicitis may include viral infections, gastrointestinal infections, or other inflammatory conditions. In some cases, trauma or injury to the abdomen may also lead to appendicitis. If left untreated, appendicitis can lead to a burst appendix, which can result in serious complications such as peritonitis, inflammation of the lining of the abdominal cavity, and sepsis, a life-threatening infection. It is important to seek medical attention promptly if you suspect you or someone else may have appendicitis. While there is no surefire way to prevent appendicitis, there are some steps you can take to potentially reduce your risk of developing the condition. 1. Maintain a healthy diet. Eating a diet high in fiber, fruits, and vegetables can help promote regular bowel movements and prevent constipation, which can contribute to the development of appendicitis. 2. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water can help keep your digestive system functioning properly and prevent the formation of hardened stool that could potentially block the appendix. 3. Maintain good hygiene. Practicing good hygiene, such as washing your hands regularly and properly, can help prevent gastrointestinal infections that may lead to appendicitis. 4. Seek prompt medical attention. If you experience symptoms of appendicitis, such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and fever, it is important to seek medical attention promptly. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent complications from a burst appendix. While these measures may help reduce the risk of developing appendicitis, it is important to keep in mind that the condition can occur suddenly and unexpectedly. If you suspect you may have appendicitis, it is crucial to seek medical attention as soon as possible. The symptoms of appendicitis can vary from person to person, but commonly include 1. Pain. The most common symptom of appendicitis is abdominal pain that typically starts around the belly button and then moves to the lower right side of the abdomen. The pain may be severe and constant, and can worsen with movement, coughing, or deep breathing. 2. Nausea and vomiting. Many people with appendicitis experience nausea and vomiting, often accompanied by a lack of appetite. 3. Fever. A low-grade fever may occur as a result of the body's immune response to the infection in the appendix. 4. Loss of appetite. People with appendicitis may experience a loss of appetite and have difficulty eating due to abdominal pain and discomfort. 5. Swelling and tenderness. The area around the appendix may become swollen and tender to the touch, especially in the lower right side of the abdomen. 6. Diarrhea or constipation. Some people with appendicitis may experience changes in their bowel habits, such as diarrhea or constipation. 
If you experience any of these symptoms, especially severe abdominal pain that is worsening or persistent, it is important to seek medical attention promptly as untreated appendicitis can lead to serious complications. If you are experiencing symptoms that are concerning to you, such as severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and fever, it is important to seek medical attention promptly. Appendicitis can be a serious condition, and if left untreated, it can lead to complications such as a burst appendix, peritonitis, and sepsis. It is always better to err on the side of caution and seek medical evaluation if you are experiencing symptoms that could be related to appendicitis. Your healthcare provider will be able to perform a physical examination, order diagnostic tests such as blood work and imaging studies, and provide appropriate treatment if appendicitis is suspected. Early diagnosis and treatment are key to managing appendicitis effectively and preventing serious complications. Don't hesitate to contact a healthcare provider or go to the emergency room if you are concerned about your symptoms. It's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your health. The primary treatment for appendicitis is surgical removal of the appendix, a procedure known as an appendectomy. This is typically done as soon as possible after the diagnosis is made to prevent complications such as a burst appendix, peritonitis, or sepsis. There are different surgical techniques for performing an appendectomy, including 1. Open appendectomy. This traditional approach involves making an incision in the lower right side of the abdomen to remove the appendix. 2. Laparoscopic appendectomy. This minimally invasive procedure involves making several small incisions in the abdomen and using a tiny camera and specialized instruments to remove the appendix. The choice of surgical technique will depend on various factors, including the severity of the appendicitis, the patient's overall health, and the surgeon's preference. In some cases, if the appendix has already burst, the surrounding area may need to be cleaned out, a procedure called an appendicial abscess drainage, before the appendix is removed. After surgery, patients are typically able to go home within a day or two and can resume normal activities within a few weeks. In cases where the appendix was removed before it burst, the prognosis for a full recovery is generally very good. However, if complications have occurred or if the appendix has already burst, additional treatment and monitoring may be required. Appendectomy, the surgical removal of the appendix, is a common and generally safe procedure. While like any surgery, there are risks associated with an appendectomy, including 1. Infection, there is a risk of infection at the incision site or inside the abdomen after the surgery. 2. Bleeding. There is a risk of bleeding during or after the surgery. 3. Adverse reactions to anesthesia. Like any surgery, there is a risk of complications related to anesthesia. 4. Injury to nearby organs. In rare cases, there may be accidental injury to nearby organs during the surgery. 5. Postoperative complications. Some patients may experience complications after surgery, such as bowel obstruction, abscess formation, or adhesions. While these risks do exist, it is important to keep in mind that appendicitis itself can be a serious condition if left untreated and can lead to life-threatening complications. The benefits of having the appendix removed to treat appendicitis generally outweigh the risks associated with surgery. It is important to discuss your concerns and ask any questions you may have with your healthcare provider or surgeon before the procedure. They will be able to provide you with more information about the risks and benefits of the surgery and address any concerns you may have. It is completely understandable to feel anxious about surgery, especially when it is for a condition like appendicitis. Take the time you need to think about your options and discuss any concerns or questions you may have with your healthcare provider. They can provide you with more information, address your concerns, and support you in making the decision that is best for your health and well-being. In most cases, surgery is the primary treatment for appendicitis. However, if the appendix has not yet burst and the diagnosis is made early, antibiotics may be prescribed to help reduce the inflammation and infection in the appendix. Commonly used antibiotics for the treatment of appendicitis include 1. Ceftriaxone 2. Metronidazole 3. Ciprofloxacin 4. Ampicillin sulbactam. 5. Cefotaxime. These antibiotics are typically given intravenously in a hospital setting. 
It is important to note that antibiotics alone are not a definitive treatment for appendicitis and surgery may still be required in many cases to remove the inflamed appendix. Antibiotics may be used as a temporary measure to reduce the symptoms and infection before surgery is performed. Remember that appendicitis can be a serious condition that requires prompt treatment, so it is important to seek medical attention if you are experiencing symptoms. Your healthcare team is there to support you every step of the way and ensure that you receive the care you need. Take care of yourself and don't hesitate to reach out if you need further guidance or assistance. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on health and wellness. Take care and see you in the next one.